Have you ever looked at the files and folders on your computer and you've seen some clouds and check marks? A lot of people don't know what those icons mean. I'll explain what the cloud icon and many other icons mean today on Tuesday Tech Training. Hello and welcome to Tuesday Tech Training. My name is Jennifer Stewart. I'm the owner of Gateway Productivity and I'm a tech and productivity trainer. Today, I want to explain to you the different icons that you might be seeing on your computer and wondering what they are. I'm specifically talking about the ones in your file explorer, which is the little folder icon. When you go into that, and I'll show you that in a minute, when you go into that, you might be seeing some clouds, some check marks, some red X's, all types of different things. So we'll go into what some of those icons mean. It's often easiest to understand this when you see it, so we'll jump right into the demonstration. Here you can see what it is that I'm talking about. I went to my file explorer, which is a little folder. See this guy down here, it's a folder. And this is showing me everything that exists on my computer. And down the left-hand side, I have some shortcuts. And then down here, I have all of the different sections that exist on my computer. Up here, we can see our home. This is Windows 11, so yours may look a little bit different. You may not have home. And then you see a cloud icon here. Well, this blue cloud, or yours may be gray, is OneDrive. And so this is for PC computers, and it's if you have Microsoft, which most people do if you have a PC computer. And typically, if you have Microsoft, you do have OneDrive automatically. And with newer computers, it's almost always set up. And Above me is a link to a video that's all about OneDrive itself. I'm gonna specifically talk about the icons today. So that's what the first blue cloud is all about. That is OneDrive. That is the cloud that Microsoft owns and stores all of your items for you. And you can have it synced to your computer. And we'll talk in a second about how you can have things on your computer, on the cloud, or both. So that's the blue cloud or the gray cloud. Then if we go down here, we can see there's some other things. There are blue arrows. There are clouds. There are dark green with check marks and light green with check marks. So let's talk about each of these. The blue arrows indicate that something inside this folder is syncing to the cloud right now. And most likely, it's because I am recording on Zoom. So it is syncing what I'm recording right now. If I went deeper into the folder, I could drill down to exactly what the document or the video or the picture was that was currently syncing. Are you learning something new from this video and you'd like to see more? If so, click the subscribe button that's below the video. And once you do, you'll see a bell icon. If you click the bell icon, you will receive notifications each time a new video is posted. This cloud icon is for my pictures. And the reason I have a cloud icon here is because I have my pictures stored in the cloud, but I don't have them all saving on the computer because that would eat up a lot of space on my computer. The cloud is a space on the internet that is a server where Microsoft is storing things for us. We access those files through the internet. Here, I have it tied into my computer to where it lives on the internet, but I have a shortcut to get to it on my computer. Once I would open that shortcut, then I see our next icon, which is this one here. It is the white background or kind of a light green with a green check mark in it typically a white background with a green check mark. This means, hey, I've opened this thing on the computer. Now it lives on the computer and it lives on the cloud. It's not just a shortcut anymore. And it's gonna continue to sync both ways, but it's not one that has to always save to the computer. The ones that always save to the computer are the dark green with the check mark. These here are things that I have indicated to OneDrive that I always want to copy on my computer and I always want to copy in the cloud. And so those will continue to sync. But if I turned off the link to the cloud, 
these items would still be available and on my computer. Whereas the things in the cloud, if I clicked on the shortcut and OneDrive wasn't connected or I wasn't on the internet, I couldn't get to those items. Sometimes you might also see a red X. What that means is that the document, or if you're looking at a folder, it might be an entire folder, is not currently syncing, so there's a problem. Where you can go to look and see what that problem is, you go down to the bottom right of your computer. This is called your system tray. And you can see that's where the gray cloud is. So you might have a blue, blue cloud here. You might have a gray cloud here. We'll click on that. And now you can see it. I even have some kind of sync issue with OneDrive that I need to look at. So that's a little yellow exclamation. Um, and then there'll be red X if something isn't syncing at all. And in, then here we can see downloaded, available, downloaded. So the downloaded items are probably the things that are in these green bubbles with the check mark. And then the available is going to be something that would be in the cloud area. It's available for me to get to, but it's not downloaded to my computer. So that's the different language that you will see here. Those are the most common icons that you're likely to see with OneDrive on your PC computer. You may see a few others. You may have noticed the little person that was on the ones that I showed. That means that I have all of those things shared with someone else. There are a few other icons that you might see, but the ones we covered were the most common. I encourage you to go look at your OneDrive icons and learn what's going on on your computer and then use that OneDrive icon in the bottom right system tray. And you can learn all about how your OneDrive is set up, and all the different settings that are available in addition to how things are syncing and what the different language means. If you still feel like you need some help with this or any other tech challenge you have, you can set up a tech stress breakthrough call with me. You can do that by clicking the monitor with the heart in it that's above me now, or you can go to gatewayproductivity.com and click on the Let's Talk button. Thanks for joining me and I'll see you next time.